Hola, welcome back to T and Lee TV. good it's delicious and it will put a little extra especially if you don't know how to cook like yeah if you don't know how to cook and just you, buy that yeah just buy it so put yeah. your seafood in there or your chicken or something or whatever and pretend, pretend like you know, you know how to cook <laughs> that's easy for you right there <laughs> it will and it'll be See, really we delicious. selling a product if you don't know how to cook buy that now you know how to buy stuff that tastes like you know how to cook <laughs> we'll call it the trick effect yes you're gonna trick them <laughs> Alright y'all, so today we are going to be doing a seafood dinner mukbang. So on the menu we have tiger shrimp with shrimp shrimp which we picked up from Publix. Which and it became smaller once you cook them yeah. for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they do. Well, you know, all shrimp shrinks when you cook it. So the sh we have the tiger shrimp, and then we have uh, some grouper here, actually, for the fish. Um, it was on sale, and so were the tiger shrimp. And then we have some jasmine rice and some corn on the cob. And on this today, we have the lemon, the lemon herb finishing butter. And this was at Publix, and you know, this reeled us in. They had the grouper in this, it was good, so we decided to try it at home. So let's go ahead and bless the food. You go now. Lord, I thank you for this food. You bless us with, as you bless us as we eat it. Bless with the truth to our bodies. Please don't let any hurt, harm, or danger come nice for eating this food or drinking this drink. Your son, Jesus, that I pray. Amen. Amen. Alrighty, let's get started. So, what it do, fam? What it do? How y'all doing today? Doing all right? That's what's up. Yes, so hopefully this is good. Um, when she had the sample, she had it like sitting in a cup of just the lemon butter. So if y'all have a Publix, try to finish in lemon butter. I bought this before and I used it in one of our videos. I can't remember which one as a dipping sauce for the seafood bowl. I used this and it was good, but when she had the grouper in it, it was really good to me. Really, really good, so... Of course, y'all know I ain't just put it in just butter. I had to add a little bit of seasoning, you know, even though it was good in just the butter. If you're watching your um, salt intake. And there's that big old tiger shrimp. I never had them from public before, only from... um. I only tasted that, that seems that time. Use some Frank Red Hot. That's good. I might use a little bit too. How does it taste to you? Uh, yeah, it's good. It's not no, the fish is just, um, it's a little more dry than what it was at Publix. Oh yeah, cause I had it in here with, I had to run and go take it out of the oven. So I probably cooked a little bit longer. I do like the way hot sauce tastes on shrimp with its sweet rice for some reason. So we'll put a little bit there red hot. The best hot sauce ever. Well, <laughs> y'all heard me say well. My well came real fast because I knew it was going to be a rebuttal. I was going to say well to me. <laughs> to me, it's one of the best hot sauces. I've only ever had grouper fried when I did have it. I didn't have it baked. Yeah, it's real good fried. 
Yeah, no one had her. That's the first time I ever had a fish sandwich that I like. It was a group of my dad took us to a restaurant. And I don't know if he tried it. They made me try it, but it was really good. And that's how I know what Grouper tastes like. I'm gonna shake this up. <laughs> What's what's wrong? I thought it was more group on the something. Why say that? Oh, the piece was so small. It's almost gone. Well, you know the piece that she gave us was small. It was like a little group this thing is expensive. Maybe it's just public. It's expensive. Because it was twenty it was on sale for twenty two ninety nine a pe a pound. And she gave us half a pound. Uh. She said normally it was 26. Oh, okay. She had us half a pound, so it wasn't much to work with. It was just a little something, you know, so. So what's your favorite kind of fish? I would love to have some lemon to squeeze on top. Yeah, it's down in the comment box. Tell us what you like, what kind of fish you like. Yeah. What's your favorite fish? Baked. Your favorite fish with baked. Or baked or fried. Mm-hmm. And this is the same corn on the cob we use for our seafood board. This is the same kind. It's real good. It's not as sweet though. Hmm? It's not as sweet as it will come out of a super bowl. I wanna do you add something to it? Hmm? Oh yeah, I wonder why. Fly came in here. Um yeah, we've been having an attack of the flies. They've been in every video making their debut. It's been raining really bad. I think whenever the door is left open more than a few seconds, like they get in here. I wonder if they're trying to escape the rain. They're running into death when they come in here. What happened? Oh, they're running into death? Yeah. <clears throat> They so well. They kind of slow and fast. Cause they just they're just annoying. Um, they ain't that fast. Oh, you done killed them? Yeah. All you gotta do is corner them. Corner them. I've never heard of cornering a fly. How do you do that? It always falls on my head. Yeah, this would be nice with some lemon squeeze over the top. You want to pause for some more rice? Hmm? You want to pause for some more rice? And also, y'all tell us, um, you turn the mic on, right? Okay. Also, y'all tell us, um, 
the best way that you've had grouper before? Or if you do bake it, like, what do you put on it? And what kind of grouper that it is that you like? You know? There's all type of grouper. It is, because one time I had one, it was mushy. You ever had that one? Can't taste mushy. It, it could be just the way it was prepared. I don't know. Like almost like not even mushy, like almost like disintegrate. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm like, there's something hot on me. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, hot. Oh, that's, that's definitely barely breach on room, almost room temperature now. Yeah, well, mine is still yeah, fine. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> yeah, my stuff, my stuff is like still pretty, really warm, but that felt hot for some reason, like a burn. I can still feel it. Oh. Sorry about that. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely not. I think these farm, um, yeah, these farm rays, they pick up pretty good flavor. Mm. Yeah, they are. Farm rays. Mm. That's crazy, because, like, this side of the corn tastes sweeter than the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is weird. Now, why this part tastes sweeter? That piece of that grouper tasted really fishy. Oh, really? Mm hmm. How many of y'all like fishy tasting fish, or how many of y'all like? Fish, I don't really taste too fishy. Like the mouth tasting fish. Yeah, see me, I like fishy tasting fish. That you actually do. taste like fish. Yeah. I don't like them. I like the ones that taste like chicken, but I prefer <laughs> the one that actually tastes like fish because mm -hmm. it's a fish. So that fishy tasting was good. Yeah. Oh. Now there's one thing that's supposed to taste like fish is fish. Anything else? Um, it won't be good. You know other stuff that tastes like fish? What? You know other stuff that tastes like fish? Yeah, like certain scallops or the seafood that tastes sea. Tastes like fish? You know, like fish, like when I when, when I used to phrase fish, I just mean like it tastes like ocean. Mm. Taste the ocean. That's in it. Oh, you don't mean the, like the fishy smell? Um. I don't really know how to describe that in that term. I just call it like a fishy. My fishy smell is like anything that smells like an ocean. Um, it's what I consider fishy. So it would be hard for me to articulate that. I'm going to finish mine off with some um, lemon. Because I really like the flavor that lemon brings to seafood. Don't worry, y'all. I'll finish this. The lemon, but... Yeah, this garlic, while he's finishing it up, I'm just going to say that... Uh, this this particular uh, finishing butter, the lemon herb from Publix, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? In Sam's Club, doesn't that man have that mm. little garlic butter thing that's good? Yeah, but I don't know if it got lemon in it like that. It's like a... It's good, whatever he got at Sam's Club. Oh, yeah, it's like a garlic butter spread. I know everybody don't have Publix, but you probably had a Sam's Club. Everybody got a Sam's, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's real good. Yeah. It's really good. Like, he'll come and he'll come sell it. It's like kind of more on the pricier side, but it's really good. Like, yeah. for seafood and for, like, garlic toast and garlic all of that. toast, yeah, because every time he give it to us, he toast a piece of bread up. <laughs> you want to buy it? <laughs> Two hundred dollars. You want to buy it? Do you want it? <laughs> yeah, this one is a. Uh, how much was this? It was on sale for three ninety nine. 
something like that. But it's really good. It is good. It's delicious, and it will put a little extra, especially if you don't know how to cook. Like yeah. If, if you don't know how to cook, and just you, buy that. Yeah, just buy it. So put yeah. your seafood in there, or your chicken, or something. Or whatever. And pretend, pretend like you know, you know how to cook. <laughs> that season it for you right there. <laughs> it will, and it'll be See, really we delicious. We selling a product. If you don't know how to cook, buy that. Now you know how to buy stuff that tastes like you know how to cook. <laughs> We'll call it the trick effect. Yes, you're going to trick them. <laughs> you're trick them right here. So you're a good buyer, not a good cooker. No. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we did. I do really enjoy the, the lemon butter stuff. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I just don't know why the sweet corn wasn't really sweet. It wasn't that sweet? Well, like half of my corn was sweet. The other half was extra sweet. Did this corn get... tastes like the other corn. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh. <gasps> To me, it did. Oh. Mm -mm. I didn't get that effect, but the other one was just taste like... It wasn't nasty, it just didn't taste sweet at all. No, it's not nasty. Corn ain't nasty whether it's sweet or not. It's just better when it's sweet. I prefer other than that, it just tastes like corn. I'll just throw salt and pepper on it and keep it rolling. I prefer it sweet. I don't like the other one. But, yeah, that's it. That's all and that's it. I'm going to finish this off with a little butter. Don't worry about the ones that be in the comments like, why you don't be finishing the food? It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's going to get finished. Don't worry. No worries. All right, y'all. So, thank you for joining us again on another uh, mukbang, on the seafood mukbang. Mm. And we appreciate you. Don't forget to... Like, comment, and subscribe. Please make sure you share, because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I'm going to say it one more time. Sharing is caring. Sharing now. is caring. If you care about us, you go share about us. And if y'all haven't noticed, I went back to my fro. I reverted back. My hair was straightened for a while. I know I didn't relax. So. If you haven't noticed, I stayed with bald hair. <laughs> Can't do much. I'm sorry, you know, love of the straws <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. I got right. Yeah, the hair is there though, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So until the next video. Peace. Which way? This way? Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Do the D.